not wearing mask at all, no? Give it up. तो चार बार लग गया तो वही हुआ ना दिन में एक ही बार होता है तो शुरू करें शुरू बिगिन तो चाय पी रहे हो क्या हो गया Yes, friends. We had the first meeting. Who speaking? Commentary. We had the first meeting of our Politburo after the 23rd Party Congress and uh, discussed the current political uh, situation, developments, and the division of responsibilities and work among the members of the Politburo and Central Committee. This will now be placed before the Central Committee, which is meeting on the 18th and 19th of June. Then these uh, decisions will be formalized because it is the Central Committee that has the authority to <coughs> decide on these matters and also on the formation of the Central Secretariat of the party that will be taken up in the Central Committee meeting. But amongst the issues that we discussed, which is there in the communique that we have circulated, this galloping price rise is actually killing the livelihoods of crores of people. And this government is completely unconcerned about it. And instead, it is trying to divert people's attention by sharpening communal polarization. And that is the only agenda that they have. The price rise of all commodities, particularly foodstuff, is actually crippling. The main reason for this is the regular hikes in the prices of petroleum products. And this Ukraine war is only an excuse because this process started much before the war began. And that is because of the high levels of central duties on petroleum products. That is why we have demanded that all the cess and surcharges on petroleum products, which the central government is now charging, must be abolished. That will bring down the prices of petroleum products and therefore have a cascading effect on the other prices because the transportation costs naturally will reduce. So that is the demand that we have made and we will consult and coordinate with other left parties in order to launch a concerted, united people struggle against this growing, galloping price rise. The other issue that we discussed was that this fiasco of the LIC IPO. Now, this, this government has embarked on a large-scale loot of our national assets through this national monetizing, monetization pipeline and virtually every single asset of the country which the owners of that are the people of India and without any opinion from the owners of this property it is being sold and sold for a song. LIC was undervalued deliberately, its share prices were brought down deliberately to appease international investors and this IPO took place at a time when FIIs, that is foreign institutional investors, are leaving our stock markets in a big way, which is leading to the fall in the value of the rupee. And it is, it's never been I mean, so bad as far as Indian currency is concerned internationally. And the, all this is happening, therefore we demand that the first installment of this IPO has been conducted. But we say now stop the other installments that are there in the pipeline and do not sell this asset because the owners of ALIC are 29 crore policy holders. They are the actual owners of LIC. And it is being sold by the government in order to rake in super profits. But the assets are being 
completely looted. This has to stop, so put an end to any future sale of LIC shares. As I said earlier, this, the distraction which this government wants to achieve along with its objective of transforming the secular democratic republic of India as defined by our constitution into a fascistic, what they call the Hindutva Rashtra. In this, to facilitate this process, they are sh sharpening very viciously communal polarization. What we have seen by the way they've misutilized the religious festivals of Ram Navami and Hanuman Jayanti with incendiary speeches, hate speeches, provoking violence, which led to these clashes in many parts of the country, cutting across many states, and particularly in the BJP rural states, how police were given permission for armed private mobs to go into processions on these occasions. Even the judiciary has been asking the police to explain why and how permission was granted for people with firearms to be allowed to be, be there in the, in, the procession, in the procession. So all these points to the fact that this sort of an atmosphere of hate and violence is being promoted for the twin objective of achieving their fascistic Karna project and to divert people's attention away from their economic hardships. Now this is something that has to end. So the CPIM has called upon all our units to mobilize all people who are who will stand for peace and and foil the uh, sinister objectives of these private armed forces. And th that is a call that has been given to all our units today. And to ensure that peace prevails and peace and committees be formed in order to ensure social harmony. And then along with this also targeted bulldozer politics has begun. This bulldozer politics has an international history. We've seen that being used in the past by fascist forces. We see that being used now by Israel against the Palestinians. And now we have here targeted bulldozing that is being done. Now if there are illegal settlements, encroachments, etc., there are, there are laws, there are rules, there are procedures. Follow them. And one of the commitments of this government also is that alternative dwelling premises would be provided to those people whose encroachments are being bulldozed. No such alternative arrangements were made. People's entire property was, uh, was smashed and this has happening, happened all across in many, many states, in fact. In UP, in Madhya Pradesh, apart from Delhi, Jangar, Buri, etc. So this is something that has to stop. With judicial intervention, it has been put on hold, but it has to stop and proper alternative arrangements must be made for their rehabilitation before their dwellings and their means of survival, small shops, husbands, I mean, before they are all destroyed and all their lifetime savings and property is destroyed. So that is what we specifically demand. Today, the Supreme Court has put in abeyance the sedition law. It's a good thing that they have done. They've put in abeyance and they've said, stopped all proceedings that are there pending in various states and uh, in various states. And it has also directed the central and the state governments not to file FIRs under this section, Sedition Law 124A of the IPC, Indian Penal Code, and this direction of not to file fresh FIRs on anybody invoking this provision. These are steps, we think, in the correct direction towards the ultimate scrapping of the Sedition Law. After the vacations, the court will resume the hearing in July. 
and we only hope that the court will proceed to actually remove this section from our statute books. The government's ruse again, saying that we will review this law, that cannot be an excuse for allowing a delay, which is exactly what the government is intending to do. So the court, our appeal would be, the court must act and proceed on the basis of the interim orders that they have issued today. On the JNK Delimitation Commission, we think this is not only patently unfair, but it is politically motivated. Politically motivated to change the demographic composition of JNK. The only Muslim majority state in India is something that the those who propagate fascistic Hindutva cannot accept. So change the demographic composition. They have given these recommendations, which are 47 seats for Kashmir and 43 in the 90-member assembly. While according to the population census, which was the basis for delimitation, is always the basis for any delimitation, population. According to that, Kashmir should have got 51 seats and 39 should have gone to Jammu. But this has been changed to give 47 to Kashmir and 43 to Jammu. This is clearly politically motivated to change the democratic composition. Therefore, the Politburo has urged that this, these recommendations must be rejected and go in accordance with the population of the of the of the regions of Jabun and Kashmir. Finally, the data fudging of this government has reached the level where they are actually insulting the people, unfortunate victims of the COVID pandemic. The WTO estimation, which is widely, I mean, been accepted by everybody in the country. I don't think there's any single family in the country which has neither be, not been affected or which has very close relatives who are affected. And this, this sort of an undercounting of the death is actually insulting the dead. This is absolutely inhuman. And in their own states, where BJP governments exist, the number of compensation for COVID deaths that they had to bring about, first of all, under pressure from the Supreme Court, Otherwise, they were not even willing to give this compensation. This, the number of people for whom this compensation has been cleared is multiple times the official COVID death figure. Gujarat itself, classic example, is nearly 10 times. So if they're giving compensation to 10 times the number, why are they hiding this number? Whether in other states, they are not willing to to pay the mandated compensation amount to these, these victims. This is absolutely inhuman, unacceptable. The government must now pay the mandated compensation to all these, those unfortunate people who lost their lives during the pandemic. So overall on this, we will be shortly uh, meeting with the other left parties and working out a national level public protest people's uh, movement against these uh, against the price rise to begin with and also these economic policies that are ruining our livelihoods and this aggressive Hindutva communal polarization that is seeking to advance the destruction of a secular democratic republic and against these they, we will jointly together with the left forces and other secular forces launch a big people's movement in the coming days. So this in short is what I have to inform you about the meeting. Now any questions? Good.
the initiative for a president to have a common candidate or build a consensus always comes from the government. The fact that the government has not taken any such initiative so far means that they do not want. It's clear. So therefore the opposition parties, secular opposition parties, they are also, I mean, they are also under discussion. We are also discussing. So, I mean, what, what will be done will be jointly and collectively taken by the opposition parties. <coughs> नहीं वो जो भी हो कोर्ट ने हम समझते हैं कि एक अच्छा आदेश दिया है ये तीनों बातें जो कही वो कहे कि सेडिशन लॉ के ऊपर अंकुश लगाया केंद्र और राज्य सरकारों के को ये ये डायरेक्शन दिया आदेश दिया कि वो इस सेक्शन के तहत कोई एफआईआर नया दर्ज नहीं करेंगे दूसरी बात उन्होंने कहा कि जो प्रोसीडिंग्स है अभी इस केस के जितने लोगों के ऊपर उसके ऊपर भी अंकुश लगाई तीसरी बात उन्होंने कहा कि जब तक जुलाई के अंदर जब फिर वापस ये सुनवाई शुरू होगी तब तक जो है इस इस कानून को अब एबैंस में रखिए यानी लागू लागू मत करिए तो हम समझते हैं कि इसी रुझान को आगे ले जाते हुए इस कानून को हमारे कानून के किताब से हटा दें ये कानून लाया गया था ब्रिटिश हुकूमत की तरफ से और ब्रिटिश हुकूमत हमारे देश की स्वतंत्रता आंदोलन को कुचलने के लिए ये सडिशन लॉ लाया गया लाए थे महात्मा गांधी से लेकर कई सारे तिलक से लेकर कई सारे नेता उस समय इसके अंदर गिरफ्तार हुए आज़ाद भारत के अंदर एक सेकुलर डेमोक्रेटिक जो भारत है गणराज है उसके अंदर इस कानून का कोई जगह नहीं है तो उसको रद्द करना चाहिए और सरकार का ये दावा कि वो इसको रिव्यू करेंगे ये उनकी उनका तरीका रहा है अब तक ये अनुभव हो चुकी है पूरे देश को जब कभी किसी काम को नहीं करना चाहते हैं वो चला जाता है रिव्यू के लिए कोई कमेटी बना देंगे दो दो साल तीन तीन साल लगा देंगे तब तक ये कानून चलता रहेगा और आज अनुभव क्या है सडिशन केसेस के अंदर तकरीबन चार लोगों को जो गिरफ्तार किया गया सिर्फ छः लोग हैं छः जिसके ऊपर कन्विक्शन हुई बाकी सब जेल में हैं बेल भी अप्लाई नहीं कर सकते वो लेकिन अब इस आदेश से वो बेल के लिए अप्लाई कर सकते हैं और उसको रोक नहीं रोक नहीं पाएंगे सरकार अब ये आदेश आने के बाद तो इसका दुरुपयोग कितने बड़े पैमाने पर हो रहा वो स्पष्ट है सबके सामने तो इस कानून को अपने कानून कानून के किताब से इसको हटा दें यस यू ए पी ए केस इज ऑल्सो ऑन द क्वेश्चन इफ यू रिकलेक्ट विद यू ए पी ए बिल वॉज बींग डिस्कस इन द पार्लियामेंट वेन आई वॉज देर देन वी हैड दिस रनिंग बैटल विद देन होम मिनिस्टर सेइंग दैट दिस विल बी ग्रॉसली मिस यूज दिस प्रोविजन of saying that you cannot apply for bail bail can't be considered but then there has to be limit and the, i'm sure that that demand we are going to continue to keep raising it and i hope that in the light of this uh, tradition on the uh, this train of thought by the supreme court on the sedition law this will also be reconsidered because the question is there has to be a mandated limit of time for filing of the charge sheet non filing of the charge sheet and therefore no bail till the charge sheet is filed that keeps continuing for years now for 3 years people are there in uh, under uapa bima korega till now the charge sheet is not there you have uh, 
आई मीन योर जर्नलिस्ट यू हैव से देखी हाँ कंपनी से देखी आई मीन दिस चार्जेस आर आर नॉट बीइंग फ्रेम डेलिबरेटली इन ऑर्डर टू सेंड द सिग्नल दैट एनी डिसेंट इन आर कंट्री वुड बी ट्रीटेड एस एंटी नेशनल दैट इज नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल इन Well, it's very, very difficult for us here to learn, but it is definitely in a very, very deep crisis, political, economic, of course, which is what trigger of this whole thing. A very, very deep uh, political crisis, and uh, we'll now just have to wait and see. Things are rapidly moving there. Mm. So, whether with the with the resignation and the suggestion that there be an all-party government, I mean, what sort of thing will work out, etc. that we'll have to wait and watch and very carefully watch it's an important neighbor of india mm -hmm. uh, the cultural migration is going on in kerala and the allegation is that the candidate is uh, christian roots man and the candidate is christian roots man but yeah. cpm no, candidate is cpm nominee no yeah so if you know better then i don't know I, uh, you're not in my party are you we decide no So CPM candidate is CPM nominee. Full stop. Comrade, when you say the conference leader K B Thomas made a press conference and he made it clear that he will campaign for NDF candidate. Welcome. I mean, in an election, we always ask everybody to support us and come and campaign for us. So if people <coughs> wish to come and campaign for our candidate, they most welcome. And we. कांग्रेस इज डूइंग So let me see what happens then. What for what? It's a Lakshman Reddy. For what? Between the judiciary and the executive. Huh? Between the judiciary, government, executive. So he says that the line is must not be crossed. He is saying the law minister has said that there should be a Lakshman Reddy between judiciary and executive, and that should not be crossed. I don't know what the law minister has in mind, but the there is no need for any other direction than the Constitution of India. The Constitution of India clearly defines what are the rights, powers of the judiciary, the executive, and the legislature, and that is what the government, the executive, will have to adhere to. so this uh, i've been mean, advising the other organs they're most welcome to advise but that that that, that is not the issue it's clear cut what are they what are their jurisdictions yes you did that has been breached the insinuated that line has been breached no but how why on what basis the executive under the constitution of india the executive that is the government the central government is accountable to the legislature the legislators are accountable to the people that is the meaning of we the people constitution begins with we the people because it's people sovereignty that is supreme is the executive being accountable to the legislature that is the that is where the lakshman rekha has to come by de, de i mean devaluing the parliament what is being done by the executive is that it is escaping from its accountability and it is destroying the basic thread of the indian constitution that is the sovereignty of the people that is exercised by executive's accountability to parliament parliament's parliamentarians accountability to the people that thread is being broken by the executive between executive and the parliament so if the minister wants to advise first our, our humble advice to him is first correct yourself bataiye kya bata kya sawal pucho na bata de to
देखिए मतलब पूरे सवालों के बारे में अभी जो बोला मैं उसको ही हिंदी में बोल दो सबसे अहम मुद्दा आज देश के लोगों के सामने है ये महंगाई जो हर दिन बढ़ते जा रही है इस महंगाई के पीछे मुख्य कारण है जो पेट्रोल के पदार्थों के के दाम जिस तरीके से सरकार बढ़ाए जा रही है और वो बढ़ाने के पीछे असली कारण ये है कि सरकार जितने टैक्स उसके ऊपर लगाकर अपने लिए रकम वसूल कर रही है वो पूरा का पूरा आर्थिक बोझ लोगों के ऊपर थोप रही है और पेट्रोलियम पदार्थ के दाम बढ़ने का मतलब है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन का दाम बढ़ता है और हर पदार्थ के दाम बढ़ते हैं तो हमारी मांग है साहब कि सरकार जो सरचार्ज और सेस जो लगाई है पेट्रोलियम पदार्थों के ऊपर वो हटाए फौरन ताकि दाम घटेगी और उसके बाद लोगों को राहत मिल सकेगी दूसरी ओर से जो देश की जो पूरी संपत्ति का खुलेआम लूट हो रहा है आज एल जैसी संस्था उनतीस करोड़ लोग पॉलिसी पौल, होल्डर है जो मालिक है एल बिना उनकी अनुमति के या बिना उनको भागीदारी के सरकार जो है इसको बेच रही है और इसकी जो वैल्यू जो उन्होंने लगाया इसकी कीमत वो है 38 लाख करोड़ रुपए की 38 लाख करोड़ रुपए की संपत्ति आज जो है ये बेच रही है खासतौर से विदेशी पूंजी के लिए उनके फायदाओं के लिए और ये हम समझते हैं कि देश के खुलेआम लूट ही नहीं हमारे देश के आर्थिक सुरक्षा इतने करोड़ लोगों की है उनतीस करोड़ लोग मैंने पॉलिसी होल्डर बने उनतीस करोड़ परिवार कितने हो गए आप तकरीबन पूरी आबादी अब इन सभी लोगों की आर्थिक जो उनकी सुरक्षा है उसको नष्ट करते हुए कर रही है इसके ऊपर पहला इंस्टॉलमेंट आपने शेयरों का बेचा अब बंद करो ये शेयर बेचना बंद करो एल की ये है हमारी पूरी की मांग तीसरी बात लोगों के सामने इतने दिक्कतें हैं बेरोजगारी है महंगाई है भूखमरी बढ़ रही है देश के अंदर लेकिन इन सभी सवालों को दरकिनार करके सरकार का एकमात्र केंद्र बिंदु है सांप्रदायिक ध्रुवीकरण को तेज करो नफरत और हिंसा के आधार पर अल्पसंख्यकों के खिलाफ ये नफरत और हिंसा के आधार पर ये ध्रुवीकरण को और तेज करते हुए अपनी जो सांप्रदायिक वोट बैंक है उसको मजबूत करने के लिए देश की एकता और अखंडता के लिए खतरा पैदा कर रही है वे फजूल जान 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 जा रहे हैं और इस तरीके के हमले जो हुए सांप्रदायिक हमले अपने धार्मिक त्यौहारों का दुरुपयोग करते हुए उसको इस्तेमाल करते हुए इसके ऊपर अंकुश लगाने की जरूरत है और प्रधानमंत्री का चुप रहना अपने आप में ये स्पष्ट संकेत है कि इस तरीके की प्राइवेट जो आर्म्ड जो गैंग्स हैं उन सब के लिए संरक्षण है आज सरकार का और उसके उसी वजह से उनकी हिम्मत बढ़ती है कि इस तरीके के हमले करें इस पर रोक लगाए साथ ही साथ जो बुलडोजर की राजनीति आपने शुरू की जो टारगेट करके अल्पसंख्यकों की जगहों पर घरे उजाड़ना अगर कोई अवैध या इलीगल ऑक्यूपेशन है उसके खिलाफ उसको कैसे हटाना इसके लिए कानून है तरीके हैं उन तरीकों के और उन कानूनों का पालन करिए एक मुख्य बात यह है कि उनको वैकल्पिक रहने के इंतज़ाम और जिंदा रहने के लिए वाइपल के काम का वो भी जो जिम्मेदारी सरकार को लेनी है बिना वो लिए हुए इस तरीके की डिमोलिशन करना ये बर्बाद कर रहे हैं और इसके अंदर भी अल्पसंख्यकों को टारगेट करना ये है मुख्य बात तो ऐसी इस परिस्थिति में जो भी सरकार का विरोध करता था उसके खिलाफ ये सडिशन लॉ के अंदर गिरफ्तार कर दिए करते आए चार के ऊपर ये सडिशन लॉ लग, लगी हुई है सिर्फ छह लोगों को सजा मिली है इस कोर्ट कचहरी से बाकी किसी के ऊपर वो चार्ज भी फ्रेम नहीं हुए और इनके ऊपर यानी आप सरकार की विरोध करने की हिम्मत दिखाओगे तो आपको जेल में डाल देंगे अब इसके ऊपर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने आज अंकुश लगाया जो अच्छी बात है हम चाहेंगे जो अंकुश जो आज लगाए ये सुनवाई जब फिर शुरू होगी जुलाई में सुप्रीम कोर्ट की छुट्टियों के बाद वो सब है इस कानून को ही हटा दिए हमारे देश के अंदर ये कानून का कोई जगह नहीं है एक स्वतंत्र 
प्रजातंत्र भारत के अंदर और इसके अलावा हम ये चाहते हैं हमारे पॉलिट ब्यूरो में तय किया कि कश्मीर के अंदर जो भी डिलिमिटेशन किया ये ये सिर्फ ये अनफेयर ही नहीं है लेकिन इसके पीछे भी एक राजनीतिक मकसद जुड़ी हुई है और वो हम समझते हैं कि कश्मीर की जनसंख्या की की जो कॉम्पोजिशन है उसको बदलना एकमात्र राज्य है हमारे देश में जिस यहाँ पर बहुमत मुसलमान है अब उसको बदलना है उसके लिए जितने सीट मिलनी चाहिए थी कश्मीर को उससे कम करके दिए और जितने सीट जो है जम्मू के लिए उससे बढ़ाकर जम्मू को दिए तो ये हम समझते हैं कि बहुत ही अब बहुत ही गलत तरीके से ये किया गया है तो इस डिलिमिटेशन कमीशन के सिफारिशों को आप रद्द करिए आखिरी बात यह है कि जो आप अब अनफॉर्चुनेट कहिए या जो भी कहिए जो अपनी इस महामारी में जिनकी मौत हुई है जो बहुत कुछ झेलना पड़ा उनको अब उस मौत की जितने लोगों की हुई है उस संख्या को भी कम दिखाना ये एक किस्म से बहुत बड़ी इंसल्ट है जो जो जान गवाए मोदी सरकार की ये आदत की असली असलियत को छुपाने के लिए वो आंकड़े को ही हेरा फेरी करते हैं आंकड़ों का इसके चलते हुए इसके साथ खिलवाड़ मत करिए जो दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण जिसके जिनके जान गए इस महामारी को झेलते हुए उन सबको जो मुआवजा जो सुप्रीम कोर्ट के आदेश से सरकार को तय करना पड़ा उसको जो है इन सबको दिलवाएं और इज्जत के साथ असलियत को देश के सामने दुनिया के सामने रखिए ये मुख्य बातें थी हमारे पॉलिट ब्यूरो में और जिम्मेदारी क्योंकि पहली मीटिंग रही हमारे पार्टी कांग्रेस के बाद जो जिम्मेदारियाँ पॉलिट ब्यूरो के सदस्य और केंद्र कमेटी के सदस्य निभाएंगे उसके बारे में चर्चा हुआ ये पूरा फाइनलाइज फाइनलाइज होगा फाइनल होगा हमारे केंद्रीय कमेटी की मीटिंग में क्योंकि अधिकार केंद्रीय कमेटी की है जो हो रहा जो हो रहा है अठारह और उन्नीस जून में दिल्ली में ठीक यू फाउंड आउट हु नॉमिनेटेड नो यू वेंट आउट टू फाइंड आउट नो हु नॉमिनेटेड हाँ आई थॉट यू वेंट आउट टू चेक what is our expectation we didn't expect it they did what they do on that basis will react <coughs> what is not nothing to do with us it is their internal matter what the congress will decide they'll decide but we have we in every election we appeal to everybody to support us so more people are supporting us that is welcome Why? I mean, where is that uh, that situation now? You you tell me if you want to join the party, I may welcome you. But you you have to tell me, no? You have to tell me. You know? If you don't tell me, then what is for? I mean, what do you? How do I welcome you? That means Kevin Thomas have to express his desire to join. That's odd. First, let us see what the situation is, what it is developing, etc. You are speculating too much at the moment. Mr. K. V. Thomas is a very senior politician in the country. He served as a cabinet minister. He's been in the parliament. He's been in the assembly also. Ah, uh, sure. And he is a very senior, uh, seasoned politician in our country. So I'm sure. I mean, his wisdom, political wisdom, is much more than mine or anybody else, because I'm much too junior in in politics compared to him. The number of years he's been there. So I'm sure he'll take a decision. Whatever he decides, okay, then we'll see. Okay thank you thank you very much